about having known Ted, what was it like for you guys to go out as a group and sort of meet his family? Yeah, uh, it was great. Uh, haven't met a lot of his family, so it was the first time, but um, you know, obviously show our support for them and uh, what Ted's meant to this organization. And you know, I think we're also representing uh, the players around the league too and, and what he's meant to uh, the NHL, the NHL Players Association. Um, you know, it's, it, was, uh, it was just such a great energetic guy to, to have around and always enjoy talking with him. Eddie, do you have like a favorite interaction you've ever had, like when? Um, you, you know, there, there's, um, you know, one was, um, it's funny because he always, I, I think Blash had mentioned it, but he's always like, you know, you got to, you got to go in the corner, and uh, you know, you can be a good player, you can be big, you can be strong, it doesn't matter. But whoever, I just want to know whoever comes out of the corner with the puck, that's that's who I want on my team, and. Um, you know, he's the intensity, you know, we showed, but also uh, it wasn't always about hockey. It's about, uh, you know, just life in general. And uh, like I said, he was just always so positive and so easy to talk to and, you know, took the time to uh, talk to me as a youngster and, and, you know, took the time to talk to each and every each and every uh, guy in the room. And, um, you know, we just I think he always uh, speak for, for all the guys. He always he always brightened the day when when he uh, came in the room. You guys talk so much about him working out with you. How often was it when you're maybe after a game or before a skate when you're walking in and, and you're on your last rep and you go, man, I, I don't think I can do it. And you look over at an 85-year-old man at the time, maybe <laughs> he was just pumping out reps. He was, it was, it was unbelievable. Uh, he was in great shape and, you know, you know how hard he, uh, how hard he would train and, and um, you know, it's, his, uh, his detail to his, his fitness and his lifestyle. I think that's obviously what, you know, part of what helped him live as long as he did. Yeah. As somebody who was born in Michigan, when you came into the league and first met him, was it a little? Yeah, moment? it's it's it was like a moment uh, when I met uh, Gordy Hall. You know, same type of moment, just kind of just in awe. And uh, right away, you look at him, you're like, gosh, you know, for, for them calling him Terrible Ted, he's not uh, the biggest <laughs> of stature. You're like, you know, you start thinking, but uh, you know, is obviously as nice of a person he was uh, off the ice. He was he was a tough customer on the ice. Uh, you know, from from what you've heard and, and stories and, and some of the videos and things you've seen, um, you know, obviously played the game hard and played the game the right way. It's, yes. just, it's a weird transition here, but just going into Tampa tomorrow, how do you guys finally solve this? Yeah, you know, they're they're a good team. I, you know, I think that um, you know over the last number of games, um, you know, you look back at those games. I think we played them really well. We've been right there. We've had leads in <laughs> games and. Uh, we've let games uh, get away from us, but uh, it's always a great challenge. I always enjoy playing those guys. We've had some great uh, battles and rivalries with them. Um, you know, obviously, I, I would say right now they're they're the top end uh, team in the league, and uh, it's it's fun to go out and, and match yourself up with with them, uh, regardless of, of where you're at in standings. And it's it's going to be a challenge. Um, you know, they got a lot of depth. They got really good goaltending and, and good defensemen. So we got to make sure that. Uh, you know, we're playing the right way and we're not giving them giving them easy chances because they can score the puck. How pleased were you with the team's performance last night considering the last home game was the Montreal game yeah. and without Dylan and without <clears throat> You know, I, th I thought, uh, you know, as a group we, we came out and, and worked hard and, um, you know, we've, you know, I thought we grinded them in the offense zone and, and played, um, you know, more in, than we have in, in games past and that, that makes the game easier when you're not chasing the game and, uh, you're not in your defensive zone all game because then you have no energy to, to spend in the, in the offensive zone. So I thought, uh, you know, from a work ethic standpoint, from, from a detail standpoint, I thought uh, we did a lot of good things, and hopefully we can take that as a step forward. Was there, was there a resolve to kind of get that bad taste of the Montreal game out of your, you know, yeah. by coming out here and playing? Yeah, for solidly? sure. For sure, uh, especially here at home in front of our fans. Uh, I mean, obviously uh, so much to us, and, uh, you know, it's disappointing when uh, – when you give an effort like we did in Montreal, that's that's why it was so hard sometimes to when when you have you know three days off between, you can't uh, you can't get out and play again because it's uh, it eats away at you. But uh, you know I thought we uh, we did a good job of, of coming out right away from from the opening shift and the opening period and, and uh, playing the right way. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Josh. Yep, appreciate it. Yep.